So this is a chapter 5F, and uh, it's called activity. And a so this is an example of, we are still describing the mixtures of uh, uh, behavior, okay? And uh, uh, one is for the solvent activity. So I'm going to write this in, chemical potential of A in a mixture, chemical potential of A in the pure state. Is this true? This is always true. Remember that? Okay. So what that means is, if I have an A and B mixtures, and then the, this is a com a composition, and then the, the partial pressure is, and this is a, your PA star, and this is a case of something that follows a Rouse law. I'm going to write PA here, just a PA only, because okay, all these are mixtures. And in many cases, things are like this. And that's their, their PA behavior. And I'm going to put this one as a dotted line. That's a, sort of your guidance line, which is a following the PA star times X. This is a PA that following the Rouse law. So this is a true. Okay? And then what we have done is our first version on this is mu a and you probably have seen this one people just naturally extend this to do, to do this and this is uh, assuming that this is a Rouse law follows the Rouse law ideal solutions and so on so we are using this notation xa as a portion that has a uh, as a portion there. <laughs> so, so this is a, what, what's the beauty of XA is, XA is something that I can, I know what it is. Right? I know exactly, I mean, the, this is a mole fraction, the liquid, and I'm just, in a way, hoping that this is, has something to do with vapor pressure differences in the mixtures and the pure state. So think about the, I'm in the pure A. Once again, this is the same same idea here. And the pure B. And so this is not pure B, it's an A and B mixtures. Right? So this here is an everything is an A. And so all A will escape. They ended up in a gas. <coughs> and they exercising the PA stars and their vapor pressures. So this is how much one that they want to be in a way. Try to think about they are, they are, they are, they want to kind of escape. They are how active they want to be to explore a new area. So now you are you are surrounded. You are making a contact with something else. And most cases, this one is true when you are dealing with something that is uh, uh, a rich start to have an A start to come out, B start to come out, and you make up the base, uh, the vapors, and there's exercise, the partial vapor pressure, partial vapor pressures, and this is what, it's sort of the, the this, this number itself representing how much of this one A wants to be feeling the interaction between the surrounding and they want to be thrown into the other side. And that's the uh, ideal solution. And this, but this one is, is good because of the XA is something that I know what it is, but it's not good because this equation doesn't, is not always true. It is actually, it's a pretty limiting equation. It's, 
you know, in a, if I criticize in this, this equation is only true for benzene toluene mixtures. How about that? It will not work anything else. Do you think it's a good law? A good equation? It's not. It is not. And so, so, but this framework is very useful. And so, uh, this is a good starting point. So, what people think about is, well, can I just say, activity. And activity here is just so represented by the ratio between whatever they want to be, right? Whatever they want to be divided by their pure state. When they're pure, this is their vapor pressure they have. So it's just a sort of the word play between the substituting the mole fraction into the activity activity which is which is an A. And then once you have an activity, this one works out like a charm, right? You can you can do everything. Everything can be can be described by activities because now you are not obligated to use XA as a ratio, just a ratio is represented by activities. Okay. And then people like to say, oh well, this is can I say mu A star ln so, gamma A. They kind of separate these two together in this way. So what that means is activity is an activity coefficient times X. This constant before XA is trying to actually, the most popular one is actually activity constant. Uh, gamma A is the one that what people like to report it even more. Okay? So what that means is, uh, I, this, this is a very simple, but it's actually a quite useful concept for you to think about. So I'm here, this is a PA star. And this is an XA, and that's a vapor pressure, just, just a vapor pressure of PA. And that's when they uh, obey the Rouse law. In real cases, said, this is, this is a, for something higher vapor pressure than they're supposed to have. Okay. For a given this, XA, this is a vapor pressure that you supposed to have and I can use this relationship right? and your activity is same as your mole fraction can you see that I mean this is equation is misleadingly simple and kind of dumb in a way it's so easy but it's actually so much information you have to think about it when things are now this is on the main main scene right? this is a, this is a generally true but this is a sort of a philosophical statement. I mean, the activity is something that you can use it, but what you really need to understand is activity is related to the mole fraction, and so that's a, something that you need to know. And what that means is, at this composition, this is a their activity, is a ratio between this vapor pressure and the vapor pressure here. Does that make sense? This is the vapor pressure you're supposed to have as in the ideal behavior, and this is a real measured value. So that's the ratio, and you have an activity value that much bigger than your uh, uh, XA, the small fraction. I guess I'm saying too much things here, because uh, my, what I want to say here is Instead of dealing with an activity, if I deal with a gamma, the value of gamma here is bigger than one. I can start to say that is a, do you want to say A is bigger than XA versus gamma A is bigger than one? 
This is the, your choice. Okay? You have two choices. One is, this is what's supposed to happen. The value is bigger than that. The activity is bigger than what is an ideal activity, which is a, ideal activity means a mole fraction is the ideal activity. Yeah. Ideal activity means a mole fraction is the activity as if it is behaved like an ideal solution. So if this is a one way, or you can say you know, the, this constant is bigger than one. And most people actually like the second statement better. Okay. So this is, we are dealing with only one quantity, bigger than one, smaller than one. Some of the cases do have something looks like this. The vapor pressure is lower than what, what is supposed to have is as an ideal solution. This is a case, gamma A is lower than one. And this is not so common. You know, what that means is A and B like it so much, A do not escape from the liquid phase, the vapor phase, as much they wanted to do in the pure liquid. When they are you know, bound together by the more attractive B, they cannot escape that much. Right? So this is a case is not so common. Most likely that they have a, this positive deviation. And then their gamma constant is bigger than 1. Or activity is bigger than x a. This is your reference. But people do not deal with the moving target. Okay, with bigger than 1. So, I mean, this is, I like this way better. You, this, this value is bigger than 1. This is a more fixed value. Okay. 